guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's training session video, I will be training with Little Donut here. And for today, I want to do a agility course, uh, and I want to have weaves in it. So this is going to be the first time that Donut uses weaves in an agility course. Uh, last time you saw her, she learned how to weave uh, actually on its own, just four weaves. So we're going to be trying to incorporate four weaves into another course. So to start, I just want to practice weaving some uh, to make sure that she remembers it because it's been a few days. And well, then we'll see exactly how she does. Where did you go, baby? Where you go? Okay. Good job. Just going to warm her up a little bit. Oops. Good job. Good job. There you go. Okay. Good job. Okay. Good job. Okay, so she's doing pretty well with that. So my next step is to add in a jump. So I'm just gonna add in this jump here, which she has done before. So do it. First have her go over the jump, and I'm going to reward her in place, and then reward her at the end. So just reward her for the first jump, Whoa. Sometimes I like to vary where I reward in the weaves, even when I'm doing the uh, course at first, just to help to reinforce that I don't want her just running to the end of the weaves. And also helps to start rewarding kind of in various places in order to really reinforce uh, that you want them to do the entire course. Of course, at the end, you won't be doing that anymore. <laughs> Don't do that, Olive. Olive is trying to bite the bars, which is not a habit I want to encourage. Um, and that's just because she's excited uh, and she sees her sister outside the cage while she's inside the cage, which is, you know, not really what she likes seeing. <laughs> Now you have to learn to be patient like Sugar, who was just sleeping on the shelf next to the cage. So sometimes I reward in between, sometimes I don't. Really, I just want to teach her how to enter the weaves uh, from the jump. You can see she still likes to run off quite a bit, although she is very focused when she is actually doing the thing, which is really nice. You move your paw? Good job. She's so cute. Look at her. Such a cute little rat. Okay, I'm going to add in another jump. Uh, I think I'll add in my tunnel jump. That's not a tunnel jump. That is a hoop jump. So, adding in the hoop jump. Where'd you go? Isn't it a boo? Oh, come here. Come here. Oops. She's still small enough that she can get away with going through there. Good job. Right, well, Donut is out here doing the course. Olive is not very happy, so she's going around pestering everyone else, like, come on, play with me. I need someone to distract me until it's my turn. She really likes training. Good job. And you'll notice again that I am not rewarding in the same place each time, uh, just because I want to encourage her to do all the obstacles instead of just trying to get to the end, okay? Good! Awesome! I think she would have done it herself that time, honestly. I kind of tripped her up there. You did really good, baby Froof! She wants to do it herself. She's like, sure, I could listen to your directions, and I could get more treats, but I can do it myself. Why would I listen? Let's start from here. There you go. Well, nice. Okay, so that proves to me that she is ready for the fourth obstacle, which is just another jump. So I think I'm just going to have this set of four here. <laughs> and she's off. Hey, good job. Good job. Good job. And good job. Come here, Donut. You want to go? Yeah, that's pretty good. This is our new agility star. I call her the agility ratto. That's right. Do you think you can uh, try again? Oh, 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 
very nice. It's a very smart little boop. Look how tiny she looks next to the cone. Guys, she reached 200 grams. I feel like she's so big now. She's like double the weight when I got her. It's crazy. Her sister's 220 grams. She's a big girl. Oops. I got a bit of a mistake, which is the problem. Sometimes you see if you uh, don't feel more to be tweaked. Okay, you got, you got your paw nip because you said hi to your sister and your sister is not in a happy mood because she's still stuck in the cage. Your sister would like to be the one outside the cage. Right? Good job. Very nice. Well, I think it's pretty clear that she has got it down. Ready? Here you go. Good job. Good job. So she is a very smart little rattle, and uh, she is a very, very good at agility. She seems to really enjoy it. Okay, let's let's do what? Oh. Let's do one more repetition. Can you come back here before you lose your little crazy nose? Come here, baby. Come here, little crazy. Come here. <laughs> She's so insane. Can you go do that? Good job. <laughs> it's so funny because she knows it really well. But she's just like, I'm not so sure if, I, uh, if I'm paying attention anymore. I think I am done with these. I'm not sure if I want to work anything else with her. Oh, yeah, I have one more thing I want to work with her. I forgot, actually. So the next thing I want to work on is just something super simple. And that is just walking on her hind legs. So this is something that's pretty easy to teach uh, young rats just because they have a really good sense of balance. But basically what you do is you lower them up so that they're licking some treats off. You lower them up again, down, up, let them go down, let them go up. And once they are confident on their hind legs, I'm just showing you here, she's already confident on her hind legs. Then you move it a few steps, click your clicker while they're still walking. And you want them to walk without their hands touching the ground. So if they touch the ground, uh, just go ahead and lure them back up, have them do a few less steps, and then reward them again when they're doing the steps before they go down. Ready? Good job. Good job. So in the beginning, just a few steps, and over time we will work up to more steps. That is the motto. <laughs> Good. Oh, you can see there she missed a few steps. Uh, and one thing you can do, actually, if you have an older rat or a rat with a balance issue, or you're just having some trouble, is you can lure them onto your finger, you know, with their paws like this, and then you can move it forwards so that their paws are... <laughs> Okay, don't let them jump on your finger like she's trying to um, because she knows the jump to hand cue. Uh, but you can lure them along with their front paws on your finger and that will kind of start teaching them how to walk on their back paws. You can slowly start to fade that out. Um, but with older rats, you might not be able to fade it out if they don't have the balance, in which case that can just be part of the trick. But yeah, she's uh, doing pretty good. Okay, I'll do one more and I'll be done. So now I'm just going to ask her to spin. Good job. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this training session. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye from the little donut. So cute. Look at that face. So cute.